have been singing of the goodness of the Lord. How many people know how good God has been since last year? The Lord has been so good to us. I want you to scream and shout in the house of the Lord. The Lord has been good for us. We worship you, King of Kings. As we were worshiping and praising the Lord, I felt the Lord saying, He wants to remove some burden from someone because disciples of the Lord and we are, if we are meant to go out there and preach the word of God we are a light so he needs to remove those burdens take them off from us and as we celebrate the death and resurrection of the Lord when he died he said death to all those things sexual immorality whatever you may say whatever kind of thing I know you are there and you're tired of some situation you have been in but at this moment I want you to raise your voice to the Lord I want you to raise your voice to the Lord He's around His presence is here Raise your voice to the Lord and ask Him to do to you, for you, whatever you want to, to, to see in your life. Lord, we worship you and lift our voices to you, for your hand is not too short to save us, oh God. Lord, my Jesus, we accept that a time sin has separated us from your love, but we come and repent. We say, Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, oh God. Watch your color, try and say, Kamaka. 
worship you, King of Majesty. We honor your name. We magnify your name. In the name of Shatara. You are Jehovah Nisi. You raise a banner for us, the King of Glory. Even what people did not know us, even what people did not know us, they had abandoned us, but you raise a banner for us. You take us to heights.
great in battle, God. Jehovah reads your name. You are mighty warrior, King of Kings. Oh. Is your name? Someone give a mighty hand clap to the Lord of Glory, the Lord of Hosts. Thank you very much, choir. Believe 
admits that God makes a way where it seems to be no way. Even when a big mountain is standing before you, he can crush it down so that you can go through. Even when a stronghold is in front of you, he can pull it down that you go through. That even when in school your teacher is like, you can't do well. You say in the word of God, the Lord says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Hey! The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Wisdom. So you should believe that I can make it. And you know when you believe, the people around you that do not know God are also transformed. Because we are letters. We carry the light of God. When we move, we are moving with Christ. When we move, we are moving with the King of glory. We are portraying Him. We are portraying the King of majesty. When in His word He says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Why should you bow to those problems around you? Why should you say, Ewafe, Tebasuma? Oh, 
for you, King of Majesty. For we believe that you take every kind of burden, every cast is lifted, every struggle is broken in your name. We lift ourselves before you, King of Majesty. That as we become disciples, oh God, we are a light to the world. That people will see the goodness of the Lord in us. That people will see the goodness of the Lord in us. That people will see the goodness of the Lord in the things we do. That people will see the goodness of the Lord just in our actions. Just in our actions. And in your word you say, no we formed against us shall prosper. Indeed we come before you, O God. That whatever the devil has put in our lives to distract us, to separate us from your word, to separate us from your love, Today we deal with it. We speak end to that in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak end to those things in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak end to those things in the mighty name of Jesus. That we decide to follow the Lord. We decide to do the things that he wants us to do. Lord my Jesus, we decide to go your way. Not the way of the devil. We decide to go your way, King of Majesty. The devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. But you came to give us life. Life in abundance. When you died, you rose again. And that indicated life. Life in abundance. Lord, we want that life. Lord, we ask you, we ask of you, King of Majesty. Move in us, O King of Glory. Dwell in us, O King of Majesty. Jesus, we love you. Lord, my God, we glorify your name. Oh, Someone speak in tongues. Someone got lost in the spirit. Oh, Jesus, we worship you. We magnify your name. Oh, we glorify your name. Lord, as we celebrate the death and resurrection of our King. We resurrect those things that seemed dead in our lives. Those things that seemed they are not coming to life in our lives. It could have been finances. It could be sickness. That seems that it's not, it's not coming to life. But today we speak to that sickness to live. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak life, we speak life, life in abundance. We worship you, we worship you, King of glory. We worship you, King of glory.
make your faith strong. God deals with faith. Do not rely on your own wisdom. There is a, a scripture that says, it's in Proverbs, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I urge you to give everything to God. It could be a kind of, I don't know what it could be, but there are things that come our way and you sit down and you're like, you start thinking of many things. You start thinking of many things. Over oh, you know, oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do this. But I want you to always sit back and meditate on that word that the Lord gives you. Because that word that the Lord gives you is perfect. That word that the Lord gives you is the perfect word. I want you to learn how to listen to the Lord. Listen to Him. Listen to what the Lord says to you. And I want to urge you to know the word of God. Know the word of God. Know what the Lord says. If in His law He says, do not worship any other God. Even though you go into a certain situation and they say, and they say, mercy. Do you decide to follow the Lord? Or you decide to go the way of the devil? What do you choose? They may tell you if you're following God, we are going to kill you. And if you decide to go the way of the devil, you will be saved. What is that thing you will re rely on? What is that thing you will rely on? Let us we go out there to preach the word of God. As you go and reach out to someone, you need to know the word. You need to know what the word says. You need to know what the word says. Because when, the, when you know what the word says, you will stand firm. You will stand firm. When you go out there and you preach to people, there are those who speak different words. Paul was persecuted for the word. In 1 Corinthians, he said, I am cursed. When they curse me, I bless them. When they speak all sorts of words to, words to you when you've gone to preach, what do you tell them? Do you also curse them back? Do you also give them... Like they abuse you and you also turn back. Someone jeers you and you jeer back. Is that what the Lord wants of you? Is that what the Lord expects of you? As you preach that word. I want you to stand firm. As you go out there to tell the people the word. There are different kinds of people different kinds of religion but as you go to, to speak to these people the first thing is your prayer place as you look at someone and you're like I need to preach to this person it starts from here it starts from your heart for someone you could be looking at a friend they have a certain life they have a certain life they have. And you're like, but I want this person to live the kind of life I am living. I want this person to know the living God who died and resurrected for us. It starts from your heart. And when you get it from your heart, take it to your prayer place. 
pray for this person, the heart of that person will be softened just by the Spirit of God. Just by the Spirit of God. That when you reach out to this person, you'll find that this person has softened. And it's like, I've been waiting for this all along. That's the power we get in prayer. An evangelist needs to pray. Your prayer bless. Rekindle that fire renew for Christ. Rekindle that fire renew for Christ. That fire renew will make you move. Whatever they say will not move you at all. Paul was persecuted. He was beaten. He was cursed. But he said, even though I curse, I will bless. That is First Corinthians. Yeah, thank you. He says, even though I am cursed, I will bless. but not abandoned. Do you know what that means? You are always persecuted, but the Lord never abandons you. He never leaves you because he called you my own. I mean, you are my own. As in you are my own child. Child of God, when you decide to follow the Lord, you are of the Lord. You carry the image of the Lord in you. That even though things come your way, you are not moved. The time when you decided to receive the word of God, you were building a foundation in Christ. And when you build this foundation and build it strong in Christ, you can't be shaken by anything. You can't be shaken by the worldly things. You can't be shaken by the worldly treasures. You can't be shaken by things that come your wonder like, hey, move this way, move this way. We have built our foundation in Christ when we received Christ. God. The 
And when people see mercy moving, you find people coming and saying, but mercy, what has made you who you are today? But the only word you will tell them, it's my God. The God I trust. The one I laid my foundation on. That when you go to speak to this person, you have a testimony within you. You have something to tell them about the Lord. But they even see it in you. Because he said, we are the light of the world. We are the light. Ask your neighbor, are you the light? Are you a light? Do you carry the Lord with you? That when someone sees you, they can see God. Some of us come to church on Sunday. Muddy because of friends, because of what? Oh, the life is different. At times, Sunday is where our God ends. Then you go out there, do funny things, do everything. I ask you, when you go to speak to someone, when you have such a life, will they accept? Will they accept? When today you are in church, and tomorrow you are going in the bar, the club, you are going to drink. Okay, let me take some. Why don't you protect the word of God? Why don't you protect the word of God? So that he fills you up. He fills your soul. He fills your heart. He fills you up. That you overflow and overflow. That even when things come your way, you say, I am going. I am not looking back. I am going. I'm not looking back. When we look at Daniel, at the time, the king decreed that they should not worship any other God, but worship him. He decided to go at the top floor and open the window and face the city. Not fearing anything. That is the kind of thing of running over. You fill yourself with the word until you run over every kind of situation. He went to the top of the, of the building. First there, first the city. And he started praying that when his enemies came and saw him, they read very fast to report to who? To the king. They happened to throw him in the, in the den of lions. But what happened? Because he knew his stand, he had built a foundation in the Lord. The lions never ate him. The lions never consumed him. He knew that the Lord I trust will remove me from this kind of situation. He will make a way. As they were lowering him into the den of lions, the angel was also moving with him and shut the lion's mouth. And what happened to his enemies? After some days when, the, when they came to check on Daniel, he was still alive. He was still alive. This meant even the king to believe that the God of Daniel is alive and kicking. He can save you from every kind of situation. He's alive. When they brought him out, what did the king order? To throw his enemies.
enemies into that very pit. What happened? They were consumed up, showing that they had no, the gods they were serving had no life, had no power, had no strength. But this God we serve gives strength to the weakened. He gives us hope when hope is gone. This is the God we need to look up to. And tell people out there about this God. This God that never fails. This God that never fails. He turns around situations. He turns around situations. He turns around things to be, look like, things that look like mountains that are unmovable. He moves them for your sake. I want you today to ask God to fill you up. Have this desire that God, I want you to fill me up. Fill me up with this desire for you. This desire to take your word out there. This desire to know you more. Until I overflow, fill me up. I want you to ask God to fill you up. For this God we serve is so powerful. He's so mighty. I love this song that says, you provide the fire, and I provide the sacrifice. You sacrifice yourself to go out there to preach the word. He provides the fire, and I provide the sacrifice. When the apostles were in the room, the fire of the Holy Ghost came upon them that they could not stand it. They moved and preached this word. That when Peter was even moving to pray, and that man said, I ask for silver and gold. But he said, silver and gold I have none, but such as I have given I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. I want you to have that faith that you live and tell a lame man, get up and walk. I have no silver, I have no gold, but what I can give you is what the word says. What the Lord says in his word. Get up on your feet. I want us to have this desire of God, fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up until I overflow. I need to run over every kind of situation, anything that seems to be bringing me low. For the devil has no place in my life. For the devil has no place in my life. Fill us up, King of Majesty. Fill me up that I overflow right now. Open up your, your, your mouth and speak to the Lord. Tell him, Lord, fill me up. Fill me up. I desire to know your word. I desire to know your word. I desire to know your word. What it says about me. That I'm a letter. That when someone sees me, I portray the Lord in me. Because I'm of the Lord. You are child of God. So that he portrays the word of God in you. Jesus, we worship you. You know, even as Mercy was sharing, I got this word from the Lord in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. 
it's a familiar verse that we all know, but I just want to re-echo it and say, this is what it says. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Child of God, I want to request some of the leaders, Mr. Pesa, Mr. Matovu, Vicky, uh, Christine, I want some of us, like, just make a, just surrender to God and walk to this place. If you know that you're struggling with some things, sometimes you feel like, maybe I should be the one preaching up there. Maybe I should be up there leading praise and worship. But there are certain things in your life, like Mercy has been saying, you're struggling with certain things. I want you to walk by faith and come to the altar and surrender those things. As we are singing this song and telling God, fill us up. The leaders are going to pray over our lives and we shall speak the purposes of God and we shall declare that we are a holy, gen a holy people, a chosen generation. Come on, if you know that you need to have a move of God in your life to let go of things that you've been struggling with, just walk to the front right now. Just walk to the front right now by faith and our leaders are going to pray with you. Come on, start to lift up your voice even as you believe God. If you're struggling with addiction, if you're struggling with fear, if you're believing God for certain things and you're wondering, God, why are these things happening? Just walk by faith and we are going to believe God together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're there and you have a, you are struggling with something, don't mind about your neighbor. It is you alone coming into the presence of the Lord. Because he says, I'm ready to save you from every kind of situation. I just want you to walk to the front. Without looking at the person beside you, just move. Just move and come to the front if you have something you are struggling with. You could be holding back and saying, but why should I go there? If you desire for the Lord to fill you up, to take you to that place, you feel you need to be at, just come forward and believe God for that that you want to reach us. Oh, 